तुम्हारे पापा मम्मा बॉम्ब बनाते हैं बॉम्ब बनाते हैं इज योर फादर अ पार्ट ऑफ तालिबान वेरी शूटर्स शूटर्स कैन बी मेक फ्रेंड्स विद मुस्लिम्स मम्मा तो आतंकवादी है ये पाकिस्तानी है इसे मारो 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 As I said, our kids, I think they don't trust us. Our kids are all alone handling this. Fear has become a fabric around us. We have fear, fear all the time nowadays. How do you tell a child that it's just another child who's doing this? How do you explain to the child that this is not to be taken to heart? Many times the teacher is the bully. Many times the teacher says, "Oh, you'll grow up to be the grow up to be Osama." Or what will happen? It is right now going to suck our kids up and just spit out. this disturbed adults very very disturbed adults and what is bullying essentially they catch on to some weak point of yours i mean the children don't really have hatred inside them hmm. it's an easy handle it's easy to catch hold of that one child after isolate him and then bully him and i don't think any child deserves to be isolated bullied singled out and be called a terrorist at the age of 6 at the age of 8 at the age of 10 12 15 at any age basically that is what parents tell me that it has spiked in the previous few years because isn't the national dialogue increased over a certain community in the last few years as i said it's every day in 9 pm bulletins in one way or the other be it be it the national anthem as we are discussing nowadays or be it pakistan issue or be it triple talaq or be it anything is somewhere or the other twisted around to talk about muslims so i remember this this conversation from kindergarten one child comes up and says to the muslim kid that are you muslim and the child replies ha main musliman hu lekin main beef nahi khata i don't know whether i should laugh at this or whether i should cry at this because the innocence of the rem- reply marred with the not so innocent words how did a 5 year old know he was supposed to reply like this i think it's worrying because our kids are all alone handling this because there's nobody who acknowledges this there is nobody who wants to talk about this you have either contributed to this kind of a dialogue in the society or you have been quiet about it why does a 10 year old know that it's easy to tell a sex uh, the muslim child in the class that tum to sama ki aulad hoge tumhare papa amma bomb banate hain kya another uh, mother shared how she has a very ambiguous first name uh, while her second name is khan which she never used they supposed to share the email ids for some class picnic or some some coordination and the moment she shared which was her full name with a khan at, a, at the gmail.com A week after that, her child was bullied. Ki tum Pakistan se aayo kya? For the first time. And when the child says, "Why do you say that?" He says, "Because my mom told me that your mom is from Pakistan." 80s was apparently really good, but 90s there was the Babri Masjid. Post that I know everybody growing up in UP has faced. have memories of changes in their class. Hamas was the leading terrorist group at that time, and I remember my brother. was uh, in the winters you wrap the muffler all around feeling cold and he was called oh you look like hamas so but that was you know done in a fun kind of you know like i won't say there's anything funny about it it's just that it was it was not put out violently it was not put out to provoke you it was not put out to hurt you it was in jest at was once in a blue moon now it's an everyday ritual oh Is your father from the Taliban? Will he shoot me? And they add misogyny to it. Oh, you're wearing a skirt. Does he? Is is your father does doesn't have a problem with that? Not that your legs are shapely. You are expected to smile. You're sort of expected to laugh along. The moment you do, the moment you say that no, this is problematic. You are laughed at more. What I've touched is the tip of the iceberg. Make no mistake about it. It's just the tip of the iceberg. The real problem is across India. At every level of a society we believe it's so okay to whatever whatever we are saying in the night shouting at 9 pm bulletins it's okay it's there in the idiot box we think whatever jumle bazi we do at rallies whichever card you play you play a hindu card you play a muslim card you play a card and you are this is what you make your kids do you are very selfish if you do that because you are not thinking about the kids and the future of india whichever card you play yes the schools do have to take responsibility i'm not saying they don't But I'm saying that I probably think they don't know about this. 
because the under reporting of this is tremendous let's start asking this question in particular has a child faced religious faced bullying on religious lines in classroom or in playground and it was astounding the answers that came in many mothers also did not know this they were like nahi nahi everything is hunky dory they would call the child come tell auntie there is nothing like that and the child would be like nahi mamma mere sath to hua tha and the mother would be shocked but now you need 10 sections you segregate sections based on the language choice so when you are segregating these classes on the basis of relig of uh, language and it becomes a religious thing they don't have friends they don't make friends i mean of course if you're saying it's different sections you don't end up playing together you don't end up eating a tiffin together you don't end up sharing a bench together then how are you supposed to live the idea of india you think your kids are going to the same school but at the end of the day they are not we think that this is okay to do every day to talk about all this every day to keep ourselves engaged in on in on religious lines we don't know what what this generation of kids with the school kids i'm talking about they'll be voting in the next national elections the kids i'm talking about if not in 2019 they'll be voting in 2024 how do you think they would be voting what lines do you think they'll be voting on if not religious because that's what they do talking about day in and day out i believe no mother ask her child to hate another child stand up against this bullying all mothers this is not a lone mother's fight this is a fight for all mothers collectively St share your stories on social media #motheragainstbullying i am a mother against bullying are you